you how have you heard about the South Asian Cochrane Center and Network and uh, what brings you here to attend this workshop? Mr. Oli? Okay. Uh, uh, as uh, a strategic information advisor, my colleague as a quality assurance specialist, we used to uh, do some kind of uh, uh, narrative reviews and so forth. So we went to uh, combine all other uh, similar uh, 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 studies to come up with uh, a synthesis. So uh, last year, we tried to start up with uh, such kind of exercise, but we got stuck. So we tried to uh, look into uh, online uh, resources. We tried to Google out some references. So finally, we came to know that there is a, a, a workshop uh, entitled Meta-Analysis, Systematic Review, and so forth. At that time, we didn't know exactly the difference, the similarity of these two. So we tried again to look into some training institutions that provide such kind of workshops. So when we Google, uh, we tried to get some Cochrane collaboration centers. From these centers, we found out that uh, South Asian uh, 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 Cochrane Center is one of uh, them. So we, we, we started communicating with the center people. Okay, thank you. Um, Mr. Mahrate, what are the major plus points of conducting such workshops like the one you just attended with us? And what are the important things you learned from this workshop that can be applied uh, in Ethiopia? Uh, this is great, by the way. Uh, as my friend said, uh, there are a bunch of evaluations and studies being carried out in our country, but not yet being used. Therefore, one of the issues that when we go back to our country that we're planning to do is uh, doing synthesis of uh, those studies and providing it as an input for policy uh, making and informing policy decision. Uh, as he said, uh, one of the best things that we found with this uh, workshop is that uh, the training methodology is uh, the one that we were looking for. Like it has combined both uh, lectures, meaning PowerPoint presentations, as well as interactive group sessions. These are the most important things. The two methodologies are well balanced in this workshop. That's why uh, we plan to attend this workshop. So the workshop is very useful for us and, uh, and uh, we have got uh, plenty of theoretical knowledge from this workshop and hands-on uh, uh, experiences that can help us uh, in, in doing our activities when we go back to our uh, country. So, uh, Mr. Oli, is there anything that you think that can be improved in such workshops or the workshop which we conducted? Anything can be improvised upon? Yes, uh, as he mentioned, uh, uh, the, 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 the teaching methodology is the key uh, thing. And besides to that, I feel that uh, having different rounds or sessions in a year also is very important because as an employer of any organization, my employer may not me allow me uh, to attend uh, a workshop uh, as, I w as I wanted, or uh, unless otherwise that uh, training session has uh, different rounds in session so that I can be uh, 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 in a position to identify uh, which time is convenient for me so that I can see my workload and which one is uh, appropriate time for me to attend. So having uh, more than one, two sessions in a year also is also another thing that should be considered when uh, a training center uh, is supposed to have such kind of uh, uh, systematic review workshop. Uh, the other thing is that the resource persons. Uh, we see three phases uh, in the workshop. Even participants were also, uh, I can say, resource person because they have a bunch of experience to share to their uh, colleagues uh, participating in the workshop. So uh, besides to the 
teaching, teaching methodology, I think having the right person as a resource person is also very good because uh, it will uh, uh, enable uh, the organizers to transfer skills and also share knowledge. So that's also the area that I want to uh, emphasize. Okay. Well, uh, just I wanted to add one more uh, comment into it. Uh, most of the exercises and the examples were geared towards uh, uh, clinical activities. So in the future, if other public health intervention okay. examples will be incorporated into this workshop, would make it more concrete and uh, 